So uh, the friend who's giving me some piano tips and stuff just said one day, why don't you just put your fingers in the f five position, you know, the first five position thing that they tell you to do. It's dusty. And just play the fifths, just play the outside intervals. <laughs> Just close your eyes and play fifths. And if you find anything you like, write them down. And of course, every once in a while, you just sort of get lucky, right? And I thought, yeah, that one's good. I like this one. I like this one. Um, I've been doing things with octaves now. It's hard to play fifths again. <laughs> That's just how beginner I am with this stuff. And it took me weeks to be able to play this song because I don't play piano very well. But eventually I put all these little fifths together and I took a walk uh, with the puppies. And right before the walk, I had had a conversation. <laughs> Somebody's feeling really good and having a good time over there. Hi, I know you're so happy. I was talking to a friend because I was having the porch renovated and you could still see light and sky and stuff and she said something's not right your 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 port you're not supposed to be able to see through the cracks here on your porch so i i talked to the <laughs> the guy who was renovating it and he said um yeah i'm not done i still have to uh put the trim on and then i i have to seal it <laughs> you know, i have to caulk right so i said to her well he, he's got sealing and caulking to do so that explains the sky and he's got more to do with the floor. He's going to blah, 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 blah. She said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you hear what you just said? Because she's a songwriter and a poet. She said, you said that explains the sky. That is a really good title. That's really good. You should do something with that. It could be the title of an album or something, you know? And I said, no, I think it's the title of a song. So we took a walk with the puppies and I was imagining teaching this class. And I was saying, what if we were coming up with melodies for that? explains the sky that explains the sky hey that explains the sky how would you sing it you know that explains the sky because language itself kind of dictates a rhythm and it helps you find a melody that makes sense because a lot of times words have certain syllables and stresses where you'd expect them to be when you're speaking your native language right one of my students from Venezuela was really upset because he had heard a song where somebody was going, nada, like nothing, you know, nada, nada. And he's going, that's ridiculous. Nobody goes, nada. They always go down, nada, you know, like nada. That's how it goes. The melody shouldn't go up. That's just wrong. <laughs> so you wouldn't sing, that explains the sky, that, it, you know, it wouldn't be all jerky and weird. You'd sing it the way it actually is said. And that's why I think language helps me find nice melodies. So sometimes it is fun for me to think of the chords and the melody at the same time, or think about trying different things at the same time so it helps me come up with a natural melody. You might want to think of that or try that next time you're thinking, what's the melody going to be? Play around with syllables and, and vowels like we've talked about and see what happens. So anyway, I was walking with the dogs and I came up with... Um, that explains the sky and I loved it so much it was like oh my god it sounds like Stevie Wonder I gotta get home where's my phone I have to sing this idea I can't forget this so for like a mile I'm singing that explains the sky <laughs> I'm like what explains the sky I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm like I have no idea but you'll figure it out later and I said to myself when I put the memo together I hope this melody fits one of the fifths progressions that I have because I had these little progressions. I had um, put some of those voicings together so that I liked and I liked this and this. And I liked this one the best. turned out I was a half step down from that one. It was exactly it. And so that's how I've been telling you. It's like if you have it in your brain and you set it as an intention, I would really like to finish this song or somehow I'm going to make this song work. 
your brain's working on it without you even knowing it, you know? It's such a cool thing. It's like magic, you know? So I ended up writing this. Explains the sky. And I was just in heaven. I was just like, ah, oh my God. I couldn't wait to arrange it. fun, 
fun, fun. Uh, you know, there was some arpeggio guitars in there, some harmony vocals, some strings. There was an organ sound I kept remem remembering from um, uh, Crowded House. So I queued up that song to remember what kind of an organ sound was that? Is that the one that's in my head? Yes, it is. And then which one in Logic is that organ? And I threw down some organ. It's fun to play other instruments. It really um, opens up new ideas because your harmonic sense and the musicianship is in you. Anywhere you go, even if it's a beginning instrument, you can coax some music out of it. Like uh, I showed you that high strung guitar. I have a line six I can show you with all the different sounds that's in it. But I have a, a mandolin. That last verse when you heard dun, 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 that was a mandolin in the background. Um, uh, strum dulcimers. There's all kinds of things that you can play and add to your songs. And it's cool to mix up the acoustic sounds with the electrics, I think. Any thoughts on the tune or the projection or the arrangement or the? I like the harmonies. Hey, thank you. I, I like the drums a lot. I was I was I was surprised. I didn't know what to expect, but I, when you played it on piano, but I really really appreciated them. Yeah, I I have three different loops in there, three different grooves, and I lo rolled off the low end, put one in the center, one on the right, and one on the left, and then I played live drums with it and blended them all together. I just wanted this sort of bed of good stuff in there. And I uh, wanted to support this groove that was in my head that I probably couldn't play on drums <laughs> and yet got to, to the, the texture to it. The other thing I wanted to point out was when it came to time to do a little guitar solo in there, everything I was playing was like garbage. Like I was like, this is just whatever's coming out of my fingers. I just didn't like in the moment. I was like, what are you doing? Like, this doesn't even fit the song, you know, that kind of thing. So I sat back and I said, just listen to what's here. What do you think belongs there? And I heard that line and I love harmonized guitars like Doobie Brothers and Almond Brothers always did. So I threw a harmony in it. I thought, yeah, that's it. And that was the song that uh, Greg Wells said absolutely slayed him. He just loved that song of mine when I played it for him in France. So, um, he said, I want to hear the whole album now. <laughs> and of course, I've written him and said, well, here's the whole record. But, you know, he hasn't said, I've listened to the whole record. You know, like that was just a nice thing to say. I think he was being polite, you know. <laughs> Great. So there's one of my many tunes that I've written on piano now. And they're very simple. Like the piano isn't the, the main thing, obviously. You know, it's, it's, and I actually almost wanted a friend of mine to play piano, make it sound better. And she said, no, there's something very nice about the what you're doing. Like, it's got a good feel. It's all right, you know, like it fits the song. So uh, you can actually embed your emotional wonderment about the song into even the new instrument that you're playing. Your personality is going to come through, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> 